Over the last few years, I've had a lot of struggles. Some were caused by me, and some were caused in part by others. Sometimes it's frustrating to build your life just to have it took away. Sometimes through events beyond your control or things you can change. And sometimes it is due to a corrupt system or series of events that you are forced into the situation you don't want to be in. And sometimes it's because you did not stand up for yourself and you allowed yourself to be used and thrown away. No one owes you anything. Your life is yours to live. If you choose to disrespect people and disobey the rules, there are consequences. If you don't pay your bills, you get disconnected. If you don't pay your rent, you get evicted. If you don't pay your car loan, you get repossessed. If you don't pay your mortgage, you get foreclosed. If you choose not to work, then the income is not there for you to survive. You cannot go through life holding your hand out. If you choose to sell yourself short and work a minimum wage job for your whole working career, then you need to be prepared for the consequences. You can survive on minimum wage, but living a busy life or to have luck a luxurious lifestyle may not be reachable when you are wronged you need to stand up for yourself and your family sometimes a lawyer is needed sometimes those who wronged you can be made to pay however if you don't do anything then then it may be in your future or your children's future where you have to deal with your lack of actions. You need to take action, change jobs if needed, stand up for yourself, recognize that you and only you can change your situation. Again, no one owes you anything in life. The ability to recognize that your life needs changing is something that is in short supply these days. The poor me syndrome or the refusal to provide for yourself or your family is becoming an everyday issue. I know the costs are rising. I know it's getting almost impossible to provide the basics for yourself or for your family. I know I have spoke about some of the things that I've gone through and I've touched lightly on the things. However, I have never spoke deeply on them. Over the last two years, I've been facing struggles again. My monthly budget has not increased much However, the rent continues to increase every year. The groceries continue to increase. Taxes and other fees continue to increase. The pressure continues to rise. And I'm feeling that the breaking point is coming soon for me. I am wanting to enjoy my life whether it's a road trip to the city for a mental getaway or camping to decompress from the life. Life between these four walls are sometimes a bit rough, especially in the winter. I like to buy new things because it makes me feel good. However, I've had to really cut back on my spending because buying new things just to buy new is not very budget friendly. I have been living without things 
these years because my money's been going toward paying rent and paying for bills. These things that I would like to do should not throw a person's budget into turmoil for the next three to four months. These kind of things are what I call luxuries and during tough times or rough times some of these things have to change or have to be done without. Recognizing these issues and taking steps to remedy them whether it's cutting back on these luxuries, whether it's not a rolling in new programs that cost more money, whether it's not upgrading to the newest version of your phone or buying a new game system or putting rims on your vehicle or even owning a vehicle if that's what it takes. To sit there and whine because you ha have no money will never get you anywhere in life. To loot or vandalize or to steal from others just to feed your family or yourself only perpetuates the cycle. Sometimes a person has to make sacrifices. Sometimes a person has to be forced to make these changes if they are too obtuse to see them coming. As for me, I have applied for help several times. I have asked for help. I have done everything that I can do to make my life different without affecting the quality of my life too much. However, in order to live the life that I want to live and to have the quality of life that I want to have and to experience the things that I want to experience for the next chapter in my life more extreme sacrifices are needing to be made. In life you either work for somebody giving your time during the day for an hourly wage or you work for yourself long hours making money to provide the needs in your life. Or if you're one of the lucky ones that seem to be the second or third generation, you get free money from the system just because your parents or grandparents or even great grandparents were on it. Seeing this cycle perpetuate to the next generation when the next generation are more than healthy and able to work but choose not to because of the way they were raised. My situation is different from some of these others. I would love to be able to work. I want to work. However, due to things of my past and not standing up when I should have, and overworking myself to make somebody else rich and not getting a lawyer when I should have. This is my reality. This is what I'm being forced to live with. And when you're faced with these kind of hurdles, you can sit there and cry, poor me. You could make up fancy words and twist reality so what you're feeling makes sense in your twisted mind. Or you can decide what you're going to do. You can make course corrections. Again, possibility selling your truck, selling your RV, selling some of the stuff you've had kicking around for the few years selling your leather couch, maybe selling your computer, start working on your backup computer instead. Not going to the city for luxuries, not going camping because you no longer have the truck or RV. And then after you've exhausted everything, there is still one or two more options. You look at the place you're living if you can find a safer, cheaper, cleaner apartment to live that still basically suits your needs, that fits your needs, but the rent is 100, 150, 
$200 cheaper, whatever it may be. I know it's a headache and hassle to move, but over the year or so, $600 could add up for a savings. And over three or four years, that will be a significant amount that you will have saved. And if you really want to save money or cut down on unneeded expenses, you move to somewhere even smaller, like a one bedroom um, suite in somebody's basement or a bachelor suite or something. Again, the rent will probably be half of what you're currently paying, but again, the rent reflects the space. Obviously, you'll be getting a quarter of the space that you're used to. However, what are your priorities? Again, no one owes you anything in life. The ability to recognize that your life needs changing is something that you and only you can take steps to fix. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.